Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to do a review on the uh, Jackery uh, Explorer 160. Uh, it's a portable power station. And this little device, uh, I just got it uh, and just charged it up yesterday. So um, we're going to do a review on this and go through all the features. And I got some props here, going to try it on, uh, different device things I got to lights and uh, power equipment and tablets and computers. We're going to see how this does. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this unit and why I got it. Um, firstly, um, this has a lithium ion battery in it. So it's not a, a um, your traditional battery, uh, maybe a lead acid battery and he has sealed lead acid battery in there or something like that. This is actually a lithium ion. That's why it's so light. As I said, about, about three and a half pounds. Um, the lithium ion battery is 11.6 amp hours um, and this does run, uh, let's see the capacity of it is 167 watt hours which um, obviously you could just think of the old fashioned 40 watt light bulb you know divide that by 167 that's how long that light bulb will last if you plug it into this unit. Um, today with LED lights which we are going to do a demonstration on that and I got a perfect light to do that with. Um, you'll see how, uh, how cool this thing really is and how many, it'll tell us how many watts it's actually drawing um, on that, which is pretty cool. But let's go over the unit. So we've got, hold up closer so we can get a good view of this one. Um, so what it has here, it's got um, two USB ports and it's got a USB-C port. Um, and it's got a button up here to activate it. So when you plug it in, oops, let me get the light in here. Um, you plug it in, you press the button to activate it, and uh, there you go. Um, so that's USB, that's great. Over here you have the, this is the uh, input. So we want to charge this. Um, I will show you that, the accessories I got with that charged too. Um, you plug it into here, plug it into a wall. You can plug it into a cigarette lighter in your car. Oh, I'm sorry, DC port in your car. Um, <laughs> I'm still thinking of the 1970s when we called them cigarette lighter ports. Um, Anyways, so uh, your DC power port, you could charge this as you're driving in your car, going to a camping trip or a boat or wherever you're going to. I'm going to use this for my boat. This is my power supply for my boat. I got five lights I need to run on my boat, and that's what I'm going to use this for. There's the DC out, and I'll show you the um, how you use this part too, the adapter with it, and that's what I'm going to be using for my boat to attach to my um, um, electrical panel on my boat. Um, again, it's only five lights I have to run, so it's no big deal. Um, we turn to this side, and you can see it has AC. So you can plug an AC plug into this thing, and that's what we're going to be testing stuff on um, to see how this does with that. I actually don't know. Over here, which is kind of cool, it's got a light. Um, so if you just want the light, you just press this, just turn it on, use it as a regular light. Something that does cool, uh, I think it's cool, um, which could come in handy for me on a boat. Um, if I ever run into a problem on the boat, I'm stuck in the mud or whatever, and it's, it's nighttime, and I'm like, oh, shoot. If someone could give me a, you know, pull me off the run aground, and someone could, needs to pull me off uh, in a boat, and uh, I need to signal them for some reason on a radio or whatever, but that's an SOS. It does it automatically. Just hold it down for three seconds, the little button, and it'll flash SOS. So that comes in handy if you're outside camping or whatever and you need to signal people and you're farther off in a distance. And again, it's not the brightest light in the world, but uh, it will work. So the different buttons you push, if you want to use DC, you plug the DC plug in here, then you press a little button right here to say you're going to turn on the DC power. So that's kind of good. You have one for AC, you have one for the DC power, um, you have one for the light. Uh, the display, which is right here, which is, as you can see, you could tell you, tells you that we're at 100%. Let's take a look. Uh, and that's not actually using anything. No watts, no nothing. So we have nothing plugged into it. So let me show you what comes with this. You got the warranty stuff. Um, and they want to know if you're satisfied and whatnot and another warranty card and if you need um, support or whatever they have all that on here too so that's good put that down there and then it comes with the user guide uh, which I have found kind of interesting although it's pretty self-explanatory but 
it's not it's kind of just a um, you know that's it but it tells you what it's uh, best used for or the uses that they say it's you know best used for which um, well common items it says okay so like a drone so I guess these days a drone is common um, so uh, it does say a 12 inch MacBook TV, uh, um, computer which is I get a MacBook Air which is about the same thing um, tells you how many times you can charge like a drone uh, around three charges um, let's see the MacBook, my, like my MacBook Air, it could charge it about two times. Um, that's probably from empty to full. Uh, let's see. Let's see a car refrigerator at 40 watts. Uh, it'll run it for about 12 hours. That's really good. Um, let's see. So USB, uh, the USB port will run, let's see, recharge your phone from zero to full, about 16 recharges, uh, GoPros and things like that. You can plug a solar panel in it. If you go online, they do sell a solar panel that will be, uh, you can adapt to this unit and plug it right in and charge it up. It actually doesn't take all that long. Um, if you use their 50 watt solar panel, which is an option, you have to buy extra, uh, it'll take about eight to 10 hours. Uh, if I plug it into the wall, if it's completely dead, I plug it into the wall, it'll take about five hours to charge. It only took me about oh, less than three hours to charge because it wasn't completely discharged when I got it. Uh, in the car, it takes about five hours to plug it into, um, whoops, it's the air conditioner kicking on. Um, it takes about five hours on the car to charge with the DC plug. Um, so I bought this on Amazon and I paid uh, about 100, actually I paid $109. Um, so this is what you get with it, uh, besides the user guide, you get this pouch with it. And inside here you have out Put that aside I want to get to the piling things up because I only tried it with a couple things so I, I, I was going to do absolutely nothing which I basically did I just plugged two things into it just to see what would happen and then unplugged it real quick so I don't want to use any of the power in there and I wanted to see how it goes I usually like to do a long-term review but I just got this yesterday so so here's let me put this down here's the um, here's the AC one so Real easy. Uh, you just plug this into the input up top here, and then you plug this into the wall. That'll recharge the unit. So you can see the inputs up top, and the output is at the bottom one. So input, and it's again idiot proof. So if you try to plug into the other one, I don't think it won't go in there. So good, makes things easy. So you got that. That's great. I tried it. Works. Works great. Um, let's put this down here and out of the way at my props um, okay here's here's the cool stuff right here so we get we get into the cool stuff um, so if you have I some devices here that actually we're going to plug in that's DC so here's the DC adapter okay you can see this is the female end plug it into the bottom part here so that's the oh, oops, can't see it there we go there we go now I can plug a DC device into here and let's try that first since I already have it plugged in okay here's the radio I use in my boat handheld radio let's see if it turns on so let me see the best way I'm gonna put this like here and this here should unravel this they put the plug on this thing it's like a mile long I never keep it plugged in because it's a pain in the neck. Okay, so plug this. Actually, let's plug this in first. I'm going to plug this into here. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. So now there's a green light, and I don't know if this is picking up I think it should be the camera works pretty good but you see the green light on there right <laughs> I'm pointing with the antenna right there um, let's plug it into this this should show a light come on that says it's and there we go you got the light on there so okay great charging this 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 doesn't have a uh, this actually has a small lithium-ion battery in it that lasts uh, I actually don't know how long it lasts but anyway a long time um, so we'll charge this and that's no surprise um, 
but I am going to try a bigger battery with my, um, I have an electric drill and I have a battery to that. We're going to try that and see how that uh, works, but I'm going to use that on the AC part of it there. And we're going to do the um, fan. That's going to be the next one. So this is DC. I wanted to show that that works. So I click the button off here, turns off, easy. And I do like the fact that it has individual uh, buttons on here to turn things on and off. That way you're not wearing out the battery by um, having the, everything on, you know, and accidentally forgetting to unplug something or whatever. So that way you only have one thing on at a time. Or if you're just using the USB ports, they last a long time, so it's not going to drain your battery out if you accidentally leave it on. So that's, that's that adapter. Here we go. Put that prop aside. I had to keep track of all this. Okay, um, oh, the other one I want to show you, this is another one, this is the male end too, you can plug this one in, um, let's see, and this, I still have to figure out, I, I don't know, so this goes in the end, it won't fit in this one, obviously it has to go here, which would make sense if you have, if you're going to charge something up, you're going to use this one. Um, so I'm assuming if I want to charge this unit, yeah, that's what it's for. Um, and I'm in a car, I forgot you could charge it with DC. Um, I could plug this into my uh, DC um, charge port in my car and um, charge up the unit. So that's what that is. All right, let's do, let's see. Oh, the, let's let's show the fan. Let's get to something uh, a little more exciting than this small stuff. Let's see what this thing can do. All right. This I haven't tried. I tried it with the light. Again, I told you I tried a couple items just real quick. So I plugged it into the AC port real easy. And uh, I think it can only go one way it is. So it's going to plug in one way. Well, I'm going to have a two-way plug, but this is a, I think they call them polarized plugs. I'd have to look into that. Anyways. Press the AC so it's on. You'll hear a fan in here kick on. That's keeping the battery in the unit cool. Okay. Uh, I actually don't know what's gonna happen because uh, that, that's actually an electric motor. It should run it though, because... Okay, it does. There goes the fan. That's great. That's on low. Let's just skip and go on high because I got a few other props here I wanna try. Um, awesome. So that's on high, that works. And let's see what, uh, okay, right here, if we look, turn that on. If you look, it tells you it's drawing 21 watts uh, on high, so, or 26. So it's going to last, this is going to last almost uh, six hours with the fan on. And this is, a, this is a, a fairly large fan. If I had a smaller fan, if I had a, a, a they actually make USB fans, and that's what I'm going to use in my boat, and it uses next to nothing, so it's, it, it'll last the whole night easily. Um, no problem whatsoever so okay that's that's really cool let's try with um so we got the fan it's another one of my props done <laughs> so I could, I could plug in stuff all day um let's do usb um so i got this my little um my ring light i don't know if you see my video with this one this thing is cool as could be um it's got three settings but that's how i did a video on this so if you want to look at that go look at the video um but it's a really cool thing. I put it on my phone, ring light, so it does the, you know, you're doing this, um, you're using the filming there. It actually goes in handy, but not today, but I got two other lights to help me out. And I'm gonna show you those lights in right after this. So let's see how, oops, I my glasses on. And this plugs in. I can't see if I'm upside down, right side up. Yeah. So I hit the USB. And then, let's plug this into USB port right there. And there we go. If you can see, we've got red light come on there. When it turns blue, it means it's done. And it is only drawing two watts. So, <laughs> these things take nothing to charge up to. This thing can be charged up in, I don't know, 10 minutes. Um, not even, because I haven't used that line. I left it on for about a half hour. Um, Anyways, so that's that's really cool. Um, and again, it's got the USB C right here, so that's cool. It's got a 
a lot of features there. Let's get to what do I want to do next? All right, we'll do this one. We'll do. I so many things I want to try. I'm going to show you the light. I'm going to, I'm going to plug the light in. Wait, you see this light? This light is really cool. I use these lights. They're on right now, and I get two of them. That's actually ten lights all together. It lights up everything. The whole room is just lit right up. So, whoops. What I didn't do, I didn't hit this. Okay, AC. Charging. It's already at 100%, so it's nothing to charge, but it shows you that it will charge. And you listen, you'll f hear the fan come on too. Uh, AC, it, uh, the inverter in there is going to get a little bit, uh, gets warm, so it cools that also. So I'm assuming that's what it's for. Okay, so that's great. Charges the, uh, this is charging. Oh, yeah, 100%. I should have worked down more, but that doesn't really matter. It charges it, so that's good. Turn that off. Okay, I got, okay, I got my, my MacBook right here, but it's going to do the same thing. I know it, so, <laughs> but anyway, let's do it anyways. There's my light right here that says, it's actually, when it turns green, it's all charged up. It's orange now, so it is charging. That's great. It's almost all charged up anyway, so it'll do that, and it's drawing 22, 21, you have 20, wait a minute. So it's 21, 20 to 21 watts. So I think it says maybe 21 right now. 22, nope, got 22. So anyways, that shows you that, um, yeah, so that's cool. Drive my laptop, so. But again, for me, on my boat, I'll be able to use this, um, you know, if I, the battery on this lasts a long time anyways, it lasts like 11 hours. But um, if it runs out, I know I can charge up. I got plenty of juice in this thing, so um, let's move to, let's get the lamp. This lamp is the coolest thing. And again, I'm gonna put a link down below uh, for the Jackery. Um, Explorer 160, it was Explorer 160, let's see. Explorer 160. Uh, I'm gonna put a link for that below. Um, click on that, you can read the reviews on it if you're interested in buying it whatever um, I'm gonna put another link for this lamp right that I'm gonna show you and it will power this lamp <laughs> so let me get that and get everything out of the way plugs I gotta get that um, I'm gonna put so the lamp I'm gonna put a link for that also when you see this thing it's so cool these things it lights up the whole room it's five light bulbs let me show you it Okay, so I turned it off. I got another one over here. Um, again, these things are so cool. But let's see. I'll turn it off. Hopefully, that's off. Plug it in here. Okay. So I'm turning it sideways. So <laughs> bear with me on this. These things are cool. They got they, you can move them and um, it's flexible. So and they're really durable. They're really great. You can just turn them any way you want. So. It kind of looks like there's a reflection from the other light over here coming off, but they're not on. You'll see that in a moment. So anyways, ready? Here we go. It'll turn two on. So there's one, two. It'll turn three on. There's one, two, three. And two are not on. Now let's turn all five on. Okay. There we go. You can see me again, can you? Well, you're not looking at me anyways. You're looking at the unit right here. And it is drawing with five on there. Let's see. It is drawing 25 watts. Now that means that we can run this thing for about six hours with that. So there's 25 watts. Yeah. So right around six hours or so of light. So if we lost power in here, I would have ample amount of light. I wouldn't need this many lights, five of them. Um, they're pretty bright. So uh, they're LED lights. Um, that, again, that's why it's using so little um, watts. Um, but again, I'm going to put a link for the lamp down there too because these things are really cool. It's a floor lamp, so it stands up um, by itself. If I put it up like this, it's um, well, you can't see it. Well, anyway, it's standing up. So, anyways, so that's pretty cool. So put that over there. Oh wait, put it back over here so it's shining toward me. Okay, there we go. Um, Okay. Oh, that's awesome. 
Actually, I might as well leave it plugged in because we're just about done. So anyways, um, the last thing I wanted to show was I was going to use the battery here. Um, where is this going? Something like this. That's to my um, Ryobi um, rechargeable, um, my drill and my power saw and things like that tools. So to see if the Ryobi will turn on, which I have no doubt it will. It's an electric battery. Well, let's see what it, let's see what it draws. So we're going to get a little bit of a light's going to turn out here in a moment. So ah, bear with me. There we go. Sorry, light. Um, plug in the Ryobi. Plug it in the right way. And which one's the light? There it is. We got the light blinking on here. And I charge this thing in a while. I wonder what that means. Let's see. Okay. Blinking, so it's charging. Okay. And it needs to be charged anyways. I was using it the other day. I was using the I have a power saw I was using with it, so um Anyways, that's about it. And this thing's pretty cool. And it's telling me right now, that's done how to charge this. Uh, it's, it's on a, a, a quicker charge. It's going to draw more. Again, it's a lithium-ion battery. So yeah, this Ryobi one. So it's going to pull what it can because it has a controller. Every lithium-ion, um, let me see if I got this right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Every lithium-ion cell has a uh, controller on it uh, to control how much uh, electrical input it can uh, pull in and put out. Um, that's so the battery doesn't... Um, you know, destroy the battery there. So this is drawing 38, 37 to 38 watts. So, but that would easily be able to charge this thing right up. So that's, I could probably do it, maybe one and a half, maybe two times, probably two times. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this thing is, uh, I, I had to try it on my boat because that's what I bought it for. But just using the products that I've been using here, um, it's just, I mean, it's really cool. And again, $109, I paid for it on Amazon, and great reviews. Um, check it out, link below. And um, again, I'll put a link below for that lamp too, because that's uh, <laughs> just something that's really cool to have. Um, really lights up the room. I mean, five light bulbs in it, that's, you can bend it, turn it, whatever, so. Um, but this, this is what the actual review is. It's got padding on the bottom too. These are non-slip. Um, that's it, real light fit this thing anywhere so i'm excited about it hope it works on my boat hope you have a good day and thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed um i gotta say this in the beginning if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up i appreciate it thank you have a good day